G'day and welcome to my garage. <clears throat> I was uh, making the second hinge pin for the machine clamp and uh, thought, well, I was getting some problems with the, uh, well, not, not some pro yeah, problems, is that the right word? The the carriage clamp wasn't holding all the best and the uh, the lever was hitting up against the carriage anyhow it, it wasn't holding it so I thought I'll um, see what I can do about adjusting it so I pulled it I went to pull it apart and had some problems this is the this is the um, the lever, the screw lever for the carriage clamp, it goes in here and screws into a plate, this plate here which goes that way under the bed along, you can see that bit of shiny piece there so assembled it looks it's like that assembled screw this down and it lifts lifts the plate up onto the bed and clamps the bed well the lever was coming around and wasn't clamping it tight enough so I thought um, well I'll see what I can do so I went to pull it apart and whilst I was doing that in this hole here for this carriage clamp bolt screw there was a uh, was is the principal word there there was a, um, a brass ferrule I've since worked out that ferrule wasn't really doing anything I think it was just closing the ma making the hole tighter around this around the head of this bolt here to keep chips and crap out I suppose I don't know, the, uh, as I was lifting the ferrule out my fingers a bit oily and uh, pinched it and off it went hit the back shield next thing it hit something solid a good lump of steel or I've got an aluminium transmission uh, next, next to the lathe here I may have hit that I don't know because I can't find that ferrule it's now gone but I've worked out since it wasn't part of the clamping mechanism it was uh, just filling that hole in so I'll make one out of Delrin but that's that, that can come later but uh, I did have problems getting this plate out there's not enough room one the plates adjustable uh, so you can adjust I suppose I don't know I suppose you can adjust this plate up and down and that will alter the the position of the lever at, a, at its tight clamp but that's in in there and I don't know if you can see there but I can tell you now there's no way in there I'll stay up this plate goes in there this adjustment bolt here is pointed goes into a divot and then you come in from underneath because it's a set screw with an allen key adjust the height then lock it off with the spanner well I'll tell you now you can't get a spanner in there and you definitely can't get an allen key in there because the the aprons in the way and it's very difficult to get this plate out let alone do any adjustment with it so I've had to take luckily only two bolts release the apron I could then move I could then move the apron 
out of the way so I can get to it's all very cramped so I can get to this position wherever it is and then you can come in with an allen key and a spanner and hopefully well you can adjust it all right with an allen key but whether I can get a spanner in there to lock it off I don't know uh, I'll find that out when I go to put it back together but uh, that's what I'm doing at the present moment putting my carriage lock back together I can't say I shouldn't have started in the first place <laughs> but uh, it's been a pain anyhow you, you're going to have to get out of the way because uh, you are where I need to be looks like this is not an adjustment that nut is just to lock this set screw into the plate the set screw can't come lower than the bottom of this plate this plate here because that sits over the top of this apron up here so this is just I think an anchor pin and I've got a feeling The depth of that hole is about the length of that set screw. It is too. Um, so it's not. It's not for adjustment, from what I can gather. It's only. Uh, it's only to retain this pin so the the plate stays where it is. So the adjustment I need will be in stacking washers underneath the um, um, carriage clamp bolts there was two copper washers there was two copper washers under this bolt I've taken one out let's see how that uh, no, don't lose that whatever you do where did it go I've dropped the plate, I've got to find it. Sometime later. <clears throat> I've recovered the plate, I found it. <coughs> so that goes the Allen. The Allen key is only to uh, make it easy for me to get the plate up into position. Now, thing with uh, the Chinese you never know what thread you're going to come across the thread on this handle is 24 uh, threads uh, 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 TPI 24 TPI on that I think and I haven't I don't work in in Imperial I think it's a 1024 and I don't have a tap for that I was going to clean the threads up because it was a little bit uh, tight but um, yeah that didn't work so the plate is back in place
the handle is back on and you can't see that but that's the lock position which is great is exactly where it should be so very simple just take the handle off screw the bolt out change the thick thickness of the washers and uh, put it back together again you don't have to take all this apart if you know what you're doing um, like I said I lost that ferrule to stop that from blocking up with gunk I'll just put a uh, make a Del Delrin ferrule to go in there so I spent a couple of hours on this trying to work it out by the way that ferrule that I'm talking about there is not in the parts listing doesn't show so maybe uh, something extra Matty did you put it in there anyhow not to worry um, spending a bit of time working out how these things go together can only be good in the future if I remember <laughs>